All right, we're talking about something that a lot of people probably take for granted. We're talking about the MLS listings and how now they've made changes that really affect the community of people dealing with disabilities. We're joined today by Daryl Christensen. He's the Vice President of Community Integration at Ability360. Nice to have you on the show. Great to be here, thanks. We're gonna talk about some new stuff because you partnered with Valley Leadership alumni and they're providing new information to the MLS listings that's benefiting a lot of people that maybe haven't been tapped into. So tell us about this partnership. So the partnership where we started uh, to pitch the idea of mm -hmm. really informing the community about right. it, the need for accessibility. So with the MLS listings, mm -hmm. we're looking at now having uh, pictures to go along with the dialogue, defining the 31 mm -hmm. fields of accessibility in a single family home. Nice. And so this way, realtors will be able to uh, really put in accurate information mm -hmm. so that they can save time in showing a potential buyer and a, a house that's appropriate for their needs. And we just had some video right here and we're looking at some of the features. Before we actually get to the features, you pointed out that in this um, MLS listing, eight years ago, this information wasn't even listed, but there were 16 fields that actually described the benefits and the pros and cons of a garage. Crazy, right? It is absolutely crazy because they're leaving out a whole audience of people who could benefit from the information and possibly lend them to buying that home. So let's talk about individuals with disabilities and what this MLS change does for them in their perspective of walking through those doors and buying a home for the first time. Right. So people don't realize that about 20 to 25 percent of the population has a permanent disability. Right. That translates to about a million residents here in the valley that have a permanent That's disability. That's huge. That's huge. Yeah. And so when you have buyers and sellers for, from a realtor standpoint, mm -hmm. that's a lot of commission. It is. Right? That's money. That's right? money in, your, in their pocket. So, yeah. so if I can show you a home right up front that's going to meet your family's needs, mm -hmm. that's going to save both of us a lot of time and make you money mm -hmm. rather than go into seven or eight homes that have nothing to do with right. accessibility to meet a family's needs. And now that the conversation has gotten started, how is this really benefiting the community as far as them being able to go into a home and see now these features? The realtor, I'm sure, has more information, but what does it do for them on their end, the person looking to buy the home? To buy the home, it, it really gives them an opportunity to know what's possible. Oh, good. Right. So, okay. uh, the other, so another piece of this is the whole accessibility mm -hmm. from a zero-step entrance mm -hmm. rather than a four-step or four-inch steps. Uh, the outlets, electrical outlets, and the controls are especially at a if they're height. in a wheelchair. The exactly. outlets are different levels. Okay. Right. Well, we're looking at this right here, the video, and they're showing that the um, cabinets and drawers, and even the the range stovetop, can go up and down to meet a person where they are if they're in a wheelchair. Right. Right. And so those are additional features that are above and beyond, but it certainly impacts the independence mm -hmm. and safety or anybody with a disability. And look at the senior population. Oh, absolutely. Right? Because you just never know what kind of disability someone has. Someone, if you can't see it physically, but they still could have a disability where they need some assistance in the home, and if those features are available, it's a plus. We say it's an equal opportunity <laughs> club. Anybody can join at any time. I love that. So now that realtors have this um, you know, in their toolbox, um, what is it like now here in Phoenix? Are you seeing more people with disabilities opening up their opportunity to buy a home, or is it just now starting a conversation? Station. It's starting the conversation, mm -hmm. and that's what Valley Leadership, along with Ability360, okay. is doing, is really opening up that uh, conversation. Another part, the other half of the, mm -hmm. the project, was to uh, get that information out to builders and developers. Right, because you want them to build so they can make it accessible for everybody. And make it done, and make it happen right up front, mm -hmm. because right now um, there's there's such a, a shortage in, of accessible homes okay. and when we can put in six basic features mm -hmm. it will only rise the cost of the home by a hundred dollars. Oh that's not bad at all. That's nothing so you're not pricing families mm -hmm. out of the market well, that's good. So everybody has the opportunity. Ability360.org um, is the website. Thank you so much, Daryl, for being on the show. This is good information and insight. And if you'd like more, we're going to have a link on our website as well, aztv.com. Don't go anywhere. We're coming right now with Sandy. <laughs>